us the humility here. Who's going to have the best betting NCAA tournament out of the crew on BetMGM tonight and why here in about 30 seconds? Well, like, I love you guys. Like, I love when I, because you guys obviously tweet out your plays, and I love being on the same sides, especially you, Ken, and College Hoops. Not only am I going to have the best, Nick, and by the way, Nick, 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 I'm, I'm going to butter you guys up a little bit. I'm going to have the best uh, weekend out of the whole network. Daily tip, bet QL, especially Ostrowski. Last week, heading into the NCAA tournament, Hor Horbot said he's going to have the best weekend of anyone on the network, including Joe O. That, that's really why we've got Horbot now on the show with us here. Um, it, it's the debut of Bet QL Court. We get, to, we get to air the grievances here. Before we do... Or about how you doing, man? How, how you doing this morning? The whole time when I was doing that interview, this kid is like staring at me. I was getting <laughs> feedback in my ear. So I really don't even remember saying any of that. Grant, oh! Hey, I had a great weekend. Akron covered the 13 and a half. And I only, I only took a shot at Joe there and mentioned him by name because I'm the closest with him. I've known him the longest. I've done shows with him. Shocky so, that Horvy comes in here to bet you up. What the hell are you wearing? Oh. On his winners what a surprise because that's what he does every single time he's like these influencers for these sports betting companies oh look at me win 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 i'm gonna take a bikini selfie in the bathroom floor that's for me never talks about the losses according to him he has no losses how you doing i actually didn't didn't think it was that bad after the fact you were messing with me and then, you know, when I'm pushing the corner, somebody shoves me, I would have shoved back. And I feel like I've got to shove back twice as hard. Eric can't even look at me. And that's what I, that's what I did. So I saw that clip or I heard about it. And then I, I go right for the throat. I go at Horvat on Twitter. And I said something to the effect of maybe on your next show, you'll have an opinion on the Devontae Adams situation or something. Oh, no. <laughs> because you were, a, you were a ghost on the show. Like, they're tweeting out, oh, check out Horvy's take after his Packers trade away Devontae Adams. And it was just, uh, is that real? <laughs> <laughs> like, that was the whole clip. That was two minutes. I know. I, I needed – I needed some time to digest that one. You know, when I go on Joe's show or when I come on here, usually we're on the same stuff. So I figured, like, you know, here, here's just a name I could toss out there. And I don't know Jinx. And, and I always I don't know Jinx well enough to just throw him under the bus. And I love Joe <laughs> Gilio. Great guy, you know. Uh, I love you. And I love Aaron. You know, we've worked together. So I didn't want to but throw him Joe. under the bus. I know Joe the best. And, you know, I was on Nick and Ken's show. And I don't want to mess with Chelsea, man. Like, I do not want to get in one of these. <laughs> nope. Gambling, nope, Twitter don't, wars. Don't say like, anything. Uh, just about stay out. Stay out of those. I'm yeah. just a guy, guys. I'm just a guy trying to pick winners that five years ago was going to Larson's Tavern to pick up my envelope in my beef pocket. Here and now I'm again. Just, about you know, lucky, lucky enough to get the time. All right. So here's what happened, though. I do, I do think that I should have been allowed to enter my pick because my game hadn't started yet for the survivor pool. So I did advance the first two days. And then what happened was, you guys, we were at MGM. Um, for the live remotes, obviously, and they have a poker room upstairs and there's 40 tables. So I put my name down and my table wasn't called until 1230 a.m. And so I ended up accidentally playing poker until about 5 a.m. And then my <laughs> wife worked on Saturday, so I had to get home to raise my eight-year-old son. So I'm getting text messages. Raise my son. <laughs> I have to get this pick in, you Priorities guys. Priorities so here. Uh, yes. So I put, but first, before my son comes my survivor pool, because Joe, what's the pot? <laughs> It's it's large. Twelve K. Yes. I love okay, twelve K. I love my son, but I also love twelve K. And so <laughs> I I'm like, I don't know who to pick today. I'm not picking the Zags to win it all anyway. I have a future on Arizona. So I'm gonna be lazy. Gonzaga's winning today. You know, I, I, I won some money playing poker, so I just put it in real quick. It said pick saved, but then all of a sudden, you know when you guys are like not at, not at home and your internet crashes and it takes you to that page and it's like, oops, something happened. Mm -hmm. Well, then I yeah. refreshed the page and my pick was still there. It had the logo and everything. So my phone was like 8% because again, I was upstairs all night long and all morning long. So I just said, oh, I got it. I saved it. And then I see Joe's tweet that I didn't enter my uh, selection. I go and it says <gasps> selection is empty, but my game hadn't started yet. So I hate that we had to get the pick in because the game didn't tip off until like 9 p.m. my time right. or something. This is a right. bad beat. This is a We're bad so beat by the phone. You you did not you didn't make your case to me over text. You should have. Oh, I just said like my internet crapped out. 
I know. And, I know. And MGM has the best internet ever. Like, don't get me wrong. I was just, you know, upstairs at right. the poker table. So, okay, you guys decide. Was I in the wrong or was Horvat yes. in the wrong on this one? I got to say. Dead, it's in the rules that the deadline is yeah. the tip off of the first game of the day. And that's when everything locks on the website. And people were warned multiple times. And I've said in multiple emails to get a placeholder in I the day. I didn't read that, Joe. Uh, I'm not reading your emails. <laughs> well, I would have texted Joe O and been like, hey, here's the deal. Here's what's going on. Can you log in and place my pick for me? No, but Aaron, I didn't realize until he called me out on Twitter. Like, I didn't realize. I was just carrying out with my day. Like, la 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 You know, raising my son. I'm making pancakes, you know. Raising we're trying my to, son. You know, we're building rocket ships, and, you know. And when I, when, I, when I did call him out, it wasn't five minutes after tip of the first game. It was a few games into the day. It was hours and hours because I was running around in the morning raising my kid uh, by so going he to was unaware. Yes, yes, yes. We were raising I gotta say, kids. sometimes you read the evidence that looks worse, and then you listen to the defendant, and it sounds better. That's how I feel. I, I, I kind of, I, I see, I see what happened to the guy here. The guy's just trying to play poker and raise his kid. You can't blame him for the internet. He's like making pancakes here. I'm on Horvy's side. Double check. Okay. Make sure that yes. your pick was into, entered. So yes. you think I should have made an exception, changed the rules, and entered Horvat's pick in the middle of the day? Yes. I completely wow. disagree. Thank you. He's just saying, he's just saying that no, because Horvath. his team got knocked out Horvath. by Sister Jean. Horvat, you, Horvat, you know I love you. You know I love you. But in Joe's defense, you can't set a precedent like that because then you're going to have a million texts, a million yep. emails saying, oh, my game hasn't started. Oh, this is actually my game. Like, and then also, if you do it, everyone knows your guys' relationship. Then Joe O gets yep. accused of, exactly. oh, he's bending the rules for his buddy. Oh, he's bending the rules for his friend. Mm -hmm. can't you gotta bend it. the rules I, for buddy. I feel That's for the you, benefit Harvey. of having do, a buddy who runs but, the pool. But Horvath, not when that much money's on the line. You, but can't do it. Yeah. Precedent. Because I like those glasses. Okay, Thanks, fair. Fair. And you, you guys are right. Like, I was being very irresponsible. I even thought on the way home, I was like, and you know what's funny? I had one beer that entire night and I said to my wife, I was like, I feel like I'm hung over. And she's like, what did you do? And I was like, I just played poker, but I didn't go to bed at all. And then I got home and I was like, I'll take a quick nap before the games. And my son was like waiting, like ready to go. And so uh, <laughs> I went like 48 hours without sleep, man. So I forgot that is on me. I was irresponsible. It sucks because now what I'm doing is my head in my head is I'm making my own, like who I would pick. So who would you have taken on Sunday? I would have went with uh, Arkansas played on Sunday, right? Yep, that was a play. I agree. That, that's because because that was like the one favorite that I actually liked, and I loved. I mean, I don't know because of the point system. Like, who who took St. Peter's? I mean, that guy's got to win, right? Oh, he's not even first. No, who nope. is? What, what, uh, what was it? Someone I that took look, another. Somebody took a, like Michigan and Notre Dame. Okay, they got a couple eleven seeds. Yeah, well, wow. it sucks. I mean. You know, there goes fifty dollars. But congratulations! But how did you man. did you win money playing poker? At least I was did. I did. <laughs> I did. And that, and that was like so. I justified it like, okay, you won so much. I could tell. Poker. I could tell. I was like, he's not that sad about this. Something good well, must have happened. It was like <laughs> it was one of those. And shout out MGM National Harbor. Got to give them a plug, of course, because uh, they promote my show. Ooh, look, they they are our sponsor, but also they have forty poker poker tables. And like that was the best night. I probably had in like the last decade. So driving home, I was like, you know, I mean, that next day I was like, okay, all right. Um, made a bunch of money, but like, still, I can't get over the, I can't get over it though, because you know, it was like, it's kind of like my bracket too, because I would have had a great bracket, but everybody kept picking the same national championship that I've had for like the last three months, Arizona mm -hmm. and Gonzaga. So then I picked Kentucky and they get knocked out by St. Peter's oh. and my big money one. Mm. So even though I had a good night gambling, like, just that one loss. It's like you could go six and one, but that one loss, at least to me, always haunts me. See, here's how you can tell that we're we're all gamblers. Like there are more layers to it. We're taking the the conversation about missing the pick <laughs> and potentially winning a survivor pool much more seriously than bleep talking to each other on air. <laughs> that is true. Harvey, listen, no. we appreciate you hopping on. Uh, you've sold most of us on the show. So we'll, I, I guess we'll, uh, yeah, we'll see what the judge officially rules.